Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for Hip Kit Club for Mixed Media Monday and I'm using the 2018 October kits today. And my assignment for this layout is to incorporate the Heidi Swap stamp set onto my layout. And this stamp set is included in the Project Life Kit for October. So the first thing that jumped out at me when I looked at this stamp set was the flowers. There's two flowers, uh, flower stamps on there, and I haven't used either one of them yet. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do with them yet, so I'm not going to stamp them directly onto my layout at this point because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I thought I would create some embellishments. Look how pretty they are. Very, very detailed. I pulled out some vellum from my stash and I'm just going to stamp it a couple times and then I'm going to use the smaller leafy stamp and I don't wind up using this one. Uh, I like the way the other one's stamped a lot better and so all I'm going to do is take my little cutter bee scissors here in a minute once these dry and I'm going to fussy cut out the bigger floral clusters. And I use black archival ink. That's an ink pad from my stash and it's permanent so once it dries I can add color to this, I can add liquid to it, and it's not going to run or smudge. So I cut these out. I like the way they look, and I still don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, so I'm going to just set those aside. And for some reason, a grid, I, a grid design popped into my head for this layout, and I don't even know why. I wasn't even really thinking about uh, a grid design, but I just was going through the papers and popped into my head, so I thought, if you get an idea, you should just go with it and see how it goes. So I picked three papers from the main kit, and then the fourth piece is going to be that Project Life card. It is so pretty. I love it. I love the dark to light blue ombre, and even though it's got lines on it, it's meant for journaling, I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, I kind of play around with it. I thought about doing a vertical design, but then I go back to this grid design here, and I want to ruffle up some of the edges. Some of the edges of the papers I just tore, some of them I just cut, but I'm going to ruffle them up with my little edge distressor there, and I'm going to kind of just use that as the base of my design. Um, I wanted to use some of the pattern papers, because sometimes I get so into the mixed media and the embellishments that I always have all this paper left over because I don't I feel like I don't use it enough or I'll just use one paper um, you know and so I wanted to use multiple papers for this and so I uh, cut a big floral cluster and a smaller one out of one of the Paige Evans whimsical papers I've actually already cut into that one for a layout a couple weeks ago and it's so pretty and you can't go wrong with florals I love me some florals so what I'm going to do here is mark on my white cardstock background the outline of where all my rectangles are going to go because I'm going to do some mix, uh, mixed media work around the edges. So this is clear gesso and I use that a lot on white backgrounds because it dries clear and um, it works really, really well with the shimmers that I'm going to use here in a minute. So before I add any color, I'm going to go back to that Heidi Swap stamp set, and I'm going to use this label. And I'm not using it as a label. I'm going to use it as just a, a, a design element on the background, I guess you could say. I'm going to have one of these in each of the four quadrants, just kind of peeking out from above and below the rectangles. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Since my photo is black and white and the florals that I stamped are black, I wanted to add in some more pops of black here and there. And I like the way that looks. And sometimes I really like using stamps as just details. And that's the thing, same thing I'm going to do with this stamp here. It's just a square with a bunch of tiny dots. And it's also kind of an ombre darker to light. But I'm going to use it as just some detail, kind of sticking out from behind everything. And I like the way this is looking so far. And now I'm going to come in with the shimmers. And some of these shimmers are from this month. Some of them are from the last, I think last month. This yellowish spray that I'm using here is a shimmers called Mustard Seed. That is from, I believe, last month. This is from this month, October. And it's another shimmers. It's more of a golden yellow and it's called Sunflower. It is packed with shimmer. When it dries, it is just 
super shimmery. So I'm going to add some color here just around the edges. I'm going to use my small uh, acrylic stamping block and my brush to help smudge the color around because I just want it, you know, kind of peeking out from behind the rectangles. So I'm not going to do anything in the middle because that part's going to be covered up. And there's really not a lot of mixed media on this layout. I don't go overboard with it because I do use, you know, the papers here in the middle take up a bunch of the space and then I'm going to incorporate a lot of embellishments on top of that. And so I'm going to add blue up to the top and this color here is from this month's color kit and it is also a shimmers. It's a creamies and it's called Ride the Tide and it is a beautiful light blue color. And then over on the right, I'm going to add the pop art pink and that is from this month also. And it's kind of a a corally pink color and it's got gold powders mixed in it. And so when it dries, it's got this really pretty gold shimmer to it and very, very pretty. So this is kind of the idea I'm going for. I took a little break and let everything dry and I did some machine stitching in a couple different colors around the edges of each of the rectangles there just to add a little bit more detail. I didn't stitch it to the background. I just stitched each card by itself. And I really wanted to use this chipboard piece here that says Lazy Days because this was just a weekend picture and she was just looking cute and we were cuddling and she had her blanket around her and usually on the weekends if we don't have anywhere to go we stay in our comfy clothes which are our pajamas most of the time and yeah if we don't have to go anywhere it's awesome and so it was just one of those stay at home fun days so I thought the lazy days would be appropriate. So I want to jazz up some of these pieces of paper just a little bit here and there. So I'm going to go with my white gesso and kind of blend out some of the corners here. And this is why I use white gesso on pattern paper because it's white and it's going to blend out and soften up some of the patterns and the colors. And uh, you know, if I was to use clear gesso on the pattern paper, it's still going to look the same color. And so that's kind of the difference of why I use clear on white and white on color, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue to the top here. And you can see how the, the yellow part is very, very shimmery. That's from the sunflower. So I added some of the adhesive foam that I use quite a bit on or behind these uh, pieces of paper here to raise them up off the page and it's just some craft foam from the kids section at Walmart or the kids craft section at Walmart and you get like 40 sheets for five bucks I love it once one side is sticky and then you just glue the other side down it works great so I'm going to start the embellishment phase of the layout now since I pretty much got the background finished and uh, like I said, I didn't really do a lot, but I didn't really feel like it needed a lot more. I like it just kind of showing around the edges. So now comes the long process of trying to figure out what else to add to this layout because there's so many fun things. There's a lot of the Whimsical Collection uh, by Paige Evans. There is some of the uh, Vicki Booten Ephemera. And like I was using earlier, the Heidi Swap stamps. They're just a lot of fun and beautiful things. Little, little tiny odds and ends that you can add. And it's hard to pick and choose because everything looks cute. I cut that little blue frame. I'm just going to use one little piece of it. It's the perfect blue that matches that Project Life card. So I'm going to add that as a pop of that darker blue over on the upper right corner. And then bring in a strip of the little, it's almost like washi tape, but it's a sticker from the Whimsical sticker book in that softer pink color over to the lower right. And then I'm going to bust up into the rub-ons. I love me some rub-ons and Paige Evans rub-ons are always awesome. And they are rubbing on really nicely, even over the gritty gesso and the shimmers. Because down there at the bottom where I just added that yellow one is gesso and the thicker shimmers with all the shimmery glittery stuff in there and it went on great so those are awesome rub-ons because sometimes rub-ons dry out and they do not work but these were great so I'm definitely going to go with lazy days and I want it to go right down there I think that adds just the right amount of 
yellow down in that quadrant. And I'm going to use that blue flower ephemera die cut from Paige Evans right there because I just like the way it looks. Now this is from the Whimsical 2x2 two two paper pad. And I love this little piece here. It says, Darling, I love you. And I love the edges of it. So I tore them off and I'm going to use those as layers just because I like the colors. And then I'm going to use the Darling, I love you piece. It's not going to go in the middle. I'm going to take it off for now, but it's going to come back later. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on playing here. Um, here's where I'm going to jazz up the um, the pieces of paper that I added the white gesso to. Now to add a little bit of the darker blue color, I mixed in the Oaky Bear Blue from, I believe, the uh, was it August? I want to say it was the August kit. And I'm going to mix it with Ride the Tide. And it's it just makes the perfect blue color. It makes that nice, darker blue. So that's one thing. I know I say this a lot, but that is one of the great things about getting the color kits each month. If you like doing mixed media, is they work from month to month. And if you continue to get them, then you're going to have quite a collection of different colors and styles. And chances are you can mix this month's color with last month's color and it's going to work perfectly. Like the purple color that we got last month, it matches perfect with this month's stuff also. And so, um, yeah, you know, it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. So if you like mixed media, highly suggest the color kit because they last you from month to month. So you can kind of see what that did there. It just added a little bit of color variation to the squares and, um, yeah, it doesn't make them look all the same color and flat. It gives them all a little bit of depth. So I'm going to make sure that the title is glued down because things just do not stick on top of gesso, especially chipboard. So I'm um, going to make sure that's glued down. And I almost didn't add the orange flower because I didn't really have any other orange elements, but I'm going to add in some more orange elements from the uh, Whimsical collection. I'm going to add another rub on down here at the bottom. It says enjoy the moment. I thought that was the perfect little spot for that. It fit nicely right underneath that big leaf. And then I'm going to come back to the sticker book. Here's where I'm going to add in some more orange. I'm going to add a little orange sticker flower or flower sticker up at the top. And then I'm going to work in a couple of leaves. This was fun. This was fun to just go through the rub-ons and the sticker book and kind of just find things that matched and that looked good in certain places. I wanted to try to keep the floral elements kind of going down the center of the layout. If you can kind of see the, the line of flowers, uh, I didn't want to kind of put flowers everywhere. I kind of wanted to keep those localized to the center line as much as possible. And I'm going to add the Darling I Love You piece kind of right where it is over on the left. And now that I'm looking at this, I really like how those label stamps that I stamped on the background kind of frame the big square or the big grid. I kind of like how that looks, kind of outlined in black. Now I'm going to add in some thread, of course, you know me and my thread addiction. I'm going to add in some darker blue. I'm going to add in some of the golden yellow down there at the bottom. And I do add glue to all my thread to make sure it stays. And then to get the pink color that I wanted, I mixed in a light pink and a peachy color together. And I'm going to add that right underneath the photo. And I still haven't glued my picture down yet. I think I eventually am going to do that. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't glued it down yet. I'm sure I had a good reason at the time. There I go. Okay, now it's glued down. Make sure it's straight. I crack myself up sometimes. I want things to look so messy and random, but yet at the same time, I have to have certain things perfectly straight. Crazy. 
All right, so here is where I'm going to use the stamps, uh, the stamped flowers that I used in the very beginning. I'm going to tuck those in as layers around the edges, and then I'm going to come back with some of the words from the stamp set. I'm going to stamp the word weekend, and I'm using a gray ink pad here. Um, I thought the weekend stamp was good because it was a weekend, and then um, I added a couple other little word stamps to the top and the bottom. I think it says remember, and then more rub-ons because why not? More stickers, more stickers. I couldn't stop. I just kept going through all the embellishments saying, what could I add? Another orange sticker. And then I'm gonna fussy cut this out. This is another piece from the Whimsical 2x2 two two paper pad. And this is the place where I do add flowers that aren't on the center line. Add that little Vicky Booten piece that says the good stuff underneath the photo. And then I'm gonna have this little flower sprig kind of sticking out the side there, but it's kind of small, so. And then I wanted to do something for the, the blue corner right there. And so I'm gonna cut some leaves and add them to the corner there from the whimsical paper with all the flowers on it. And then um, I'm gonna come in with, I believe the puffy stickers from whimsical and add in a couple more leaf sprigs just to add in some more texture and some variation on the leaves. Black splatters is the last thing with mixed media that I'm going to do because I like how it kind of ties in all the little black pops around the page. And then I'm going to use my white jelly roll pen today and just add a little bit down on the lower right hand corner. And I believe that's going to wrap it up. That's it. I added the date and that is the final layout. I really love how this turned out. I'm glad I went with the grid design because this was fun to do. I felt like I used a lot of stuff on this layout. And I love how it turned out. So I hope you guys did too. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the kits or any of the techniques or anything at all that I might have forgotten to mention. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching.